this is, uh, I wanted to make this somewhat brief, but being how I am, I may end up just rambling and may turn to something slightly longer, so I apologize in advance. But this essentially is um, teaching how to make very, very simple weak aura reminders for raid and progression. Essentially what these weak auras can do is they're a tool to you, right? Uh, you can get as many you know, custom weak auras as you want, but the reality is that these weak auras were made for a specific purpose. And although they may fulfill, you know, 90% of the needs that you have, there may be a certain mechanic on a certain boss that, you know, you just have a bit more trouble with. Or, you know, maybe there's a cooldown for your class that you keep forgetting to use at a certain point of the fight. Um, or, you know, maybe you forget to use PI, maybe you forget to use, you know, maybe you forget to send a cooldown earlier in the fight so you'll have it up, you know, later in the fight. So it's all these small things that, you know, instead of having to think, you know, you can just have the weaker of kind of think for you, essentially. You know, you can delegate certain tasks out so you don't have to send full brain function thinking of it the whole time. The simplest weak aura is always if you go to new aura and just go to text. Okay, this will pop this thing up. It says new. So I'm going to use an example is from our Mythic Razagath kill. So during progression, one thing that a few players had some dip problems with was in the second intermission on Razagath. So during the second intermission, there is a mechanic called Stormbreak. Essentially where the adds will charge up and then teleport across the room. Doing this does pretty substantial damage to the raid, and the second one specifically, we delegated a Spirit Link Totem for this. However, there are multiple times where people did not get into that link because either they're panicking, running around, or you know maybe just sidestepped out of it or something. But in doing so, overall majority of the time, these people just ended up dying and rotting out because it really is a lot of damage. So if I go to like the kill pool here, for example. We see here, right? We're baiting on this gate here, and you see this big wigs timer. It says teleport parentheses two, four point seven seconds. So this breath comes, I call in comms to gateway and link. Right? So this this was a very, very good um, thing that everybody did, right? Everybody's in the link and everybody survived. This is actually the only time that everybody actually got into the spirit link. And coincidentally everybody lived. Right, because Spirit Link is so like crazy broken. But we have multiple pools where people would be sitting over here because they, they just had just they had just dodged the breath. But if you had just made like a weak aura, right? For this thing, you literally it would have just told you or it would have prepped you saying, yo, get ready to sit in the spirit link. So I will show you what I mean here. So essentially the first thing we'll do is just name the weak aura, right? Just ease of access, you can find it. Just we'll say, you know, mythic Rasagath. B2.5, sit in link, right? Nice and simple. Naming the weak card does nothing. It's completely useless. This is just for your own thing. If you have display settings, under text, it shows all the different codes there are. What these codes do is outlined by this box here. Percent P, percent T, percent N, percent I, S, whatever. For our purposes and for almost every purpose that you will ever need, you will use percent %P. Percent %S, for example, is very really important on things like Dathia for the bursting mechanic. But almost every single time for those mechanics, I either make a weak core or we will get a weak core that will just track those for you anyways. So you don't have to worry about the others. Percent %P is the only one you need to know. Percent %P, you can think of as your timer. Percent %P is the amount of time left, essentially. So it's, it titles as progress. So essentially here, it's really very simple, like sit in spirit link. Or if you want, it can be more specific. Get ready to gate and then plant in link, all right? You have to hit accept here. There's the thing. Here's the size. Change the size to whatever you want. Say, no. I usually do 40. Put it wherever you want. Wait, click and drag. Very simple. For me, this is good enough. If you want to change the color, hit text color, change whatever color you want. Red, purple, pink, green, whatever. Um, just make sure it's okay after. I'll leave this here just so we can keep looking at it. But you see this timer here, how it's ticking down? That's the percent P. Now, you might think, oh, one minute timer, that's completely useless to me, right? Uh, you're correct, that is useless to you. So you have to add a trigger. Triggers are very simple. They can get complicated, like in the big packs, but for your purposes, they'll never be complicated. They'll be very simple. 
So you always go to the first trigger here. You don't have to mess with anything else up here. Just look into the trigger. Now, the thing with big wigs or uh, we we core is you can track literally anything in the game. So you can track an aura, combat log, other add-ons, spells, units, whatever. Right? So people like we core suites like myself, we track like spells. But for raid, you want to tra uh, raid specifically with events that are occurring. You want to go to other add-ons because the way that we track all of this mechanic is with big wigs add-on. So you're gonna go to type, go to other add-ons, and you're gonna change this to big wigs timer. Okay. And essentially, what you do here is you're gonna go to message, right? Because if I go back to the video, if I go back a second. Remember that massive amount of damage and where we want to send the spirit link is after this teleport two timer is over, right? So teleport two cast is it's casting right now. You want to send the link? Here's a gigantic hit. Which means this teleport two timer here that's coming up, this is what you want your warning to be off of. Essentially, right? So you're gonna under message, make sure you hit contains, and you will simply type teleport parentheses two, exactly as you see it. It's nothing nothing special. And what this is gonna do, it is gonna modify this, right? It's gonna modify the weak aura. So that it will only trigger when this is cat when this cast is showing up. Now these casts show up fairly early, right? Because there's priority big wigs timers, and then there's the less emphasized ones, the so ball three, for example. The way I track my big wigs is that I have stuff within the next you know ten to fifteen seconds that are pertinent coming up here next to my um, my bars right here. And the ones that are farther away, I keep here above the details meter, right? So I still have, I still know they're coming, but the important ones are right here. So like here, breath and two, right? I know here, Razaga's gonna start casting breath here. You can even see the little particles here. That also means gate for us. So breath two is gateway, teleport two is spirit link, right? So you base it off of the message. And if you want it to be right before, you set remaining timer. So you can be like, okay, I want this message to show up when there is less than, say, six seconds left. Six seconds means right about here it would show up, right? It would flash on your screen saying, get ready to sit in link. We're going to gateway. It's going to be on your screen still. You'll know to plant. You're going to sit here, wait for the hit, and then you will just... You'll be done, you'll be good, you're golden. So this is six seconds less than, so this will show up if it's less than six seconds. And that's literally it. You can do that for any mechanic in the entire fight. There is only one caveat to this, and that's with bosses like Razigeth that cast the same ability in multiple phases. The thing with big wigs is that the second it goes to a different phase, it resets the counter for that mechanic. So a good example for it is Stormwave here, right? So Stormwave. This is Stormwave 4 coming in 3 seconds. This one we always use the Time Spiral for, right? So if you're wanted, hey, there's a spiral. I always call this, but if I kept messing this up, I would either delegate this or I would just make a weak aura yelling, hey, before Stormwave 4, you know, I should call for Time Spiral. Or I could give this, I could have the evoker make the weak aura saying, you know, Stormwave 4, I should cast Time Spiral. The problem with weak aura here is that you see this is storm wave four. If I go to this phase in phase three, this is the first storm wave, right? It's titled storm wave one. Now you might think, oh, is that gonna mess everything up? Yes, yeah, yes it will. But there's an easy way to modify that. Essentially, you want to make these specific to the phase that you are struggling with, right? So this is one trigger, you're gonna add another trigger. Second trigger, you're gonna go to player unit info, uh, go to boss, and you're just gonna go for health, right? So say, so this is for phase two, right? The boss will never be, like for example, like an obvious thing, the boss will never be under, you know, 25% in phase two, right? It's, it's impossible. Boss is way too much health for that. So you're saying this will trigger if the boss has greater than 
25% health. Oh, whoops, sorry, uh, percentage, sorry. Greater than 25%, uh, oops, 25% health. This means this weak aura will only trigger, will only trigger in phase two because Razgut does not cast Tempest Queen in phase one. And in phase two, she's always above 25%, which means this weak aura will trigger, right? And if you want, you could actually even modify this to, you know, say like, I think our best pull was like 35% phasing. So if you want to be very specific, like you can base off your raid's damage. So 37% I think is the most reasonable here. Because the, when you phase into P3, by the time she even casts that first storm wave, Razgus will already be like 28%. So if you do 37%, this means this will only ever trigger in phase two. Because one, it only casts, it casts in phase two and phase three, but there's another trigger that says, oh, if only, only if it's above this health percentage, will you cast it? And that's literally, it. this week aura is essentially ready. And that's all you have to do. You go and like, refresh it. You see here, you've got the counter. You've got it telling you, get ready to gate and then plant. And that's it. And you can make these for literally anything. And, you know, I, I detailed at the beginning of this, like, oh, yo, I need to... I need to I need to set my cooldown here so I have it for this. Like a good example for Dathia. Um, so on Dathia and progression for Mythic, um, one of our Fury Warriors, he had to send his puzzle box early because otherwise he would not get it back for when he actually needed it. And if he used it upstairs, he would lose too much damage. So either you can wipe 12 times and figure it out, or the first time you have an issue with it, you know, drop what you're doing. It literally takes 10 seconds. Chain is to, you know, so four seconds before we go upstairs, cast puzzle box. Nice and easy, done already. It will save countless amounts of pulls in progress. Um, but essentially, that's really it. Like, the making weak is not too difficult, it's not too hard. It's pretty easy. If you ever have questions, I mean, obviously, you know, you can ask. And the weaker community is very, very helpful always as well. Or as well, you can like reach out to like you know me, like me or like Dylan, or like Volnir. But yeah, like the better you can get with making these small reminders to yourself, the more likely you will be to like survive certain mechanics.